In this video, we're going to be looking at the display value flow root, because, I mean, what the heck is flow root? Hi there and welcome to this video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Kevin and here at my channel we learn how to make the web and how to make it look good with weekly tips, tricks, and tutorials. So we're going to be looking at a flow root that's the display value and it's a little bit weird. We've looked at other basic ones before. We looked at like the block, inline, inline block. There's flex, grid. These are all the ones people are usually familiar with. Flow root, not so much. So we're going to be looking at what it does, why it kind of matters, and the types of situations where it can prove useful. So if we look here, what I've done is I've set up a very basic uh, thing. Well, you know, what the heck is display flow root? Why would we even care? Um, so I've set up a card type of thing here and a lot of text for a card, but let's, you know, let's roll with it. And here in my card, I have an image and I have some text. And there's a few different things that you might do with something like this. And I've put a few of them because we're going to come back to some of them later. But you can see the very, very simple markup that I've put here. I just have my image, my H2, and my paragraphs. And so a really common thing you might do is you might grab your image. And um, these days, people don't seem to do this as much. But this is what it's literally made for. And if you're going, you know, this is what it was made for in the first place, uh, float left. And just like that, my text is now wrapping around that image. And that's pretty cool, right? Uh, and if we go into a responsive mode here, you can see that, uh, well, at the really small screen sizes, that's really busting. But as this grows and shrinks, the text, like the way it wraps around changes a little bit. So nice and handy uh, for something like that. Uh, of course, we don't want the text to be stuck. So maybe you would do something like a margin of zero on the top. We'll say 1.5M. 1 point or 1m and 0 see what that looks like maybe a little too big here there we go and it's wrapping around nicely just like that and you know that's what floats were originally made for was this type of thing and if ever you need this that's exactly what you should be using floats for in modern websites if you're supporting old websites uh, you might be having to do it for layouts luckily we don't have to worry about that now you might be going, Kevin, I came here for flow root and we haven't talked about it yet. But floats are one of those use cases that help us see the real value of flow root and uh, understanding of what's actually going on. So when we, uh, if any of you have done layouts with floats and uh, you remember the pain that we had, we had clear fixes and there was a few other tricks to get around the issue that floats caused. And you might be going, well, I, I wasn't around for that. So here, what I've done is uh, we have our card here with all the text. It looks good, wrapping around. This one's wrapping around. And then finally, you get to one of these ones that, you know, that has less text. And my image is sticking out the bottom of the card. And, oh, okay, it's time to pull out the old clear fix. Aha, but we don't have to do that anymore, thanks to flow root. So uh, what I'm going to do is come on my card itself. And on the card itself, I'm going to do display flow root. And when I hit save, it fixes that problem that we had on that last card. And now the image is, or the, the card is paying attention to the image type of thing, right? Instead of ignoring it since it was floating and all the problems that floats can cause. Ha, huh, that's interesting. And so this is the type of place you would most commonly probably use flow root is if you are using floats. So probably not something you use every single day, but it is something that could be useful. And to understand what's actually going on is when we use flow root, it's creating a new block formatting context. And what that means is um, you the formatting, the block formatting context is what's used. The, you have one, I think, by default on the page, which is the, your HTML. Your HTML is the root of your document, let's say. And when you create a new block formatting context, and there's other ways of doing it other than display flow root, what it's doing is saying that this is more or less, this is a self-contained element. The things that are inside of this must stay inside this block formatting context. So inside of this area you know, inside of that card. So everything that's in there lives in there and it doesn't interact with anything else. It's sort of how you can think about it. So that's what we've done. So it's going, okay, everything inside this card is part of it. So now I'm paying attention to this float and I'm making sure that I'm wrapping around that float because that float's not allowed to escape outside of this. It's probably the easiest way to think about it. Um, as I said, there are other things that can create new block formatting contexts, but the nice thing with flow root is it's pretty much like saying display block 
except it's also going to do the new block formatting context. Everything else, it can technically, it can change the behavior of the, the element that you're modifying it on. So this is nice in that it's really neutral, except for that one thing. And it really can save your butt if ever you are using floats, whether you have, if you're maintaining an old website, maybe it's something you would run into, maybe it's something that it could help you out. Or if you're working on a new site and you wanna have something like this and use floats in the way they were intended to, it could really be a lifesaver for these situations where you run into issues with those floats because floats do like to cause issues. Uh, one thing just really quick is if you are working on a old site at flow root, this is a uh, can I use. So people often ask about the browser support of something. So this is a nice website to go and check out if ever you're unsure of the browser support of something. And you can see that it's actually pretty good. It's not perfect. Internet Explorer is not supporting it, but overall the browser support for it is pretty good. And you can even see here, it says it's a good way to establish a new block formatting context uh, for its context. And it's better than using something like a clear fix. So there you have it. That is what flow root is, where you might want to use it and the types of situations where you might find yourself using it. So I do hope you liked this video. Thank you very much for watching. If, now, if you'd like to support my channel in any way, there's a number of different ways you can do it. You can buy a t-shirt or sweater or a few different things that are just down below. You can also uh, go ahead and buy one of my courses. I currently have the one on Scrimba. We're going to have some other stuff coming out in the not too distant future. So you can check one of those out. Maybe by the time you watch this, one of those other courses is out. Uh, or if you do want to know about those courses as they come out. You can also sign up for my newsletter and find out about anything new that I'm up to over there uh, or through my newsletter. Uh, another really cool way to support me is just to tell other people about this channel. Let them know you like the videos here, that you can learn a thing or two along the way, and that could really help me out as well. Of course, also there is Patreon. I've had a lot of new patrons lately. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for your support. It is super generous, super amazing. I really, really does make a difference. I really make it, it really makes a big difference. So thank you guys very, very much for your continued support and to all the new patrons. You guys are awesome. I guess that's it. So thank you very much. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.